oil refinery project is in interest of state and its people. Shiv Sena opposes project. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar says NCP and Congress to contest elections together for the next year's polls. And Bhimandi Court defers hearing to May 2 in Rahul Gandhi defamation case. Thank you, Rukma. Hi, and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I'm Shama Mishra. Let's see the news in detail. Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis today said that the State Industries Minister Subhash Desai's statement regarding proposed oil refinery at Nanar Ratnagiri is his personal statement and not of the state government. He added that if at all the project is to be cancelled, then a high power committee of Chief Secretary will do it. State Industries Minister and Sena leader Subhash Desai announced that the notification for land acquisition for the proposed oil refinery at Nana Ratnagiri has been cancelled. Shiv Sena President Uddhav Thakre dared BJP to shift the proposed Nana refinery complex from eco-sensitive Kokan region of Maharashtra. The Sena and BJP are at loggerheads over the project, with the Shiv Sena maintaining that the locals are strongly opposed to the refinery. <laughs> सरकार का मत सरकार जो महाराष्ट्र के हित का है जो कोकण के हित का है इसके ऊपर वो निर्णय करेगी इसका निर्णय करने का अधिकार मंत्री महोदय को नहीं है इसकी अधिसूचना अगर कैंसिल करनी है तो उसके लिए चीफ सेक्रेटरी की जो एचपीसी है उसको वो अधिकार दिया गया है और अभी तक इस एचपीसी के सामने ऐसा कोई भी प्रस्ताव आया नहीं है NCP Chief Sharad Pawar today cited that the NCP and Congress will contest elections together for the next year's polls. While speaking at a press conference in Kolhapur, former Union Agriculture Minister said that the, as the production of sugar has been more than the actual consumption this year, sugar should be exported, which will benefit sugarcane growers. He also said that as sugar industry in the country is facing problems, thus 60% says should be implemented on sugar and that amount should be given to sugarcane growing farmers. A magistrate court in Thane's Bivandi city today deferred the hearing in the defamation case against Congress President Rahul Gandhi to May 2nd. The case was filed by a worker of the RSS on the Congress leader's alleged statement from 2004 about Mahatma Gandhi's assassination. Meanwhile, an application seeking full evidence of Gandhi's assassination has been filed by Rahul Gandhi's advocate, which is likely to be decided by the court on next hearing. His advocate has also urged before the court to transfer the case from summary trial to summon trial. The complainant's lawyer has said that these were tactics by the defendant to delay the hearing in the case. To facilitate easy transport and traffic planning, new technology will be put to use by introducing intelligence traffic management system first in Mumbai and then across the strait, announced Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis. He was speaking at the inauguration of 29th Road Safety Fortnight in Mumbai. Chief Minister said that state government is working to build a major infrastructure works for better solutions. He added, initiatives like CCTV network and e -Chalan are helping and no honking is now people's movement. He further said that there have been some reduction in road accidents in the last three years, but there is much scope for improvement leading to zero accidents. Transport Minister Divakar Raute and MP Arvind Savant were also present on the occasion. Similar road safety fortnight is observed across the state to create awareness and maintain discipline and follow all the traffic rules and regulations. The theme for road safety fortnight this year is Sarak Suraksha Jeevan Raksha. Federation of Indian Export Organization had organized Export Excellence Awards in Mumbai recently to recognize and appreciate the work of exporter from Western region. The occasion was graced by Union Minister of Industries and Commerce Suresh Prabhu, interacting with correspondent Khalid Khan, Chairman of FIO Western region, gave more insight. 
इतना इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है ऐसे अवार्ड फंक्शन और सुरेश प्रभु जी इस इवेंट में आए थे इस इंडस्ट्री या एक्सपोर्ट को आगे ले जाना है उसके बारे में कहा क्या कहेंगे आप ये हमारे जो एक्सपोर्टर्स हैं उनको एक हौसला अफजाई करने की बात होती है जो अच्छा काम करते हैं हमारे पास काफ़ी एप्लीकेशन आते हैं उनमें से हम ये जूरी बैठती है हमारी हमारी अपनी इन हाउस जूरी होती है फिर एक्सटर्नल जूरी बैठती है उसमें से हम सिलेक्ट करते हैं तो ये और फंक्शन हमारे लिए और हमारे फ्यू के लिए बहुत मान्यता रखती है और हमारे एक्सपोर्टर्स के लिए उन, उनको बहुत हौसला अफजाई होती है ये जो एक्सपोर्टर्स हमारे रीजन के हैं उनको इतना बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं मिलता कि जहाँ सुरेश प्रभु जी के हाथ से हम अवार्ड लें क्योंकि जो परसेप्शन और जो व्यू उनका है मेरे को लगता नहीं कोई और मिनिस्टर का हो सकता है रिलेटेड टू ट्रेड जैसे हर एक इंडस्ट्री या कोई भी सेक्टर हो उसमें लूप होल्स होते हैं तो एक्सपोर्ट की बात करो करेंगे तो क्या लगता है ऐसे कुछ लूप होल्स है इस सेक्टर में जिसे मिटाने चाहिए या किस तरह उसको आगे ले जाना चाहिए? जो दिक्कतें होती है जैसे कि अभी फिलहाल जी की इशूज थी वो एक हिंडरेंसी था लूप होल नहीं बोलूंगा मैं हिंडरेंसिस था वो हिंडरेंसिस को हमने किस तरह हैंडल किया है थ्रू दी हेल्प ऑफ दी सी यानी कस्टम्स एंड आवर कॉमर्स मिनिस्टर उससे बीच में जो उन्होंने ड्राइव निकाली थी पंद्रह दिन की उसमें बहुत एक्सपोर्टरों का फायदा हुआ जब कोई चीज नई शुरू होती है तो उसमें कहीं ना कहीं रुकावट आती है पर उसको कैसे काउंटर करना है वो हमारा काम होता है विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द मिनिस्टर अभी एक बैंकिंग का इश्यू है जो ईडीपीएमएस जिसको बोलते हैं जहां पर अगर, अगर हमारी रेमिटेंस आ गई है कुछ बैंकों ने उसको अपलोड नहीं किया है उस वजह से बैंक की गलती की वजह से एक्सपोर्टर सफर करता है तो उसके लिए भी हमने आर से और बैंकिंग सेक्रेटरी से उसका इश्यू लिया है तो होपफुली वी विल गेट इट सॉर्टेड आउट दिस और जब हम डिजिटल इंडिया की बात करते हैं तो ये सेक्टर किस तरह डिजिटलाइज हो रहा है या उस बातों को लेकर किस तरह काम हो रहा है डिजिटल तो हो ही रहा है आपने देखा अभी हमने पीओ ने एक पेपॉल के साथ एक एमओयू साइन किया है पेपॉल इज अ पेमेंट आउटगेट तो पहले छोटा सा अगर किसी को 100-200 डॉलर की एक्सपोर्ट करनी थी उसके पास कोई आउटगेट नहीं था कि यहाँ से वो पैसे मंगा सकता हमारे कस्टमर से अब पेपॉल के थ्रू हमने उसको डिजिटाइज किया है हमने ईबे के साथ भी पहले किया था आज हमने कोगो पोर्ट के साथ किया है तो कोगो पोर्ट से ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन फ्रेट आ जाएगी हमारे हमारे जो डिजिटाइजेशन ऐसी होगा स्लोली स्लोली ये ओवर और कल का कल नहीं हो सकता तो उस चक्कर में हम उसको ये चाहते हैं कि फीओ के माध्यम से हम उसको प्लेटफॉर्म बनाए और हमारे एक्सपोर्टर्स को उसको आगे बढ़ाए US Consulate General Mumbai and Learning Links Foundation in collaboration with Sign IIT Bombay had organized Eco Theme Hackfest Green Hackathon at IIT Bombay campus in Mumbai. The main aim of the hackathon was to come up with creativity creative ideas and innovative projects which includes air quality, water quality, clean renewable energy, solid waste waste management, waste disposal, electronics waste up and cycled projects. A oh, total of 10 shortlisted teams presented their solutions out of which two teams were selected and was awarded for their innovation and solution to help address today's environmental challenges. The hackathon intends to help in, il, help India build its capacity to advance economic development in an environment sustainable way. It's incredibly important, you know, it just it's there's a lot of energy, a lot of people who really want to get involved with things and um there's a lot to do. I mean, you were mentioning the Versova Beach cleanup, which, you know, I'm part of as well. Um this Watch Bharat campaign is really inspiring. I'm really glad to see all the signs all around the town and I mean around the country really. It's 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 an incredible initiative, uh something that we can learn from too. And the consulate is just thrilled to be part of this uh, and I'm really excited to see what the uh, folks come up with today. Uh, we will create a platform for these innovators uh, for further networking and and incubation facility for example one or two of these projects may also get uh, incubated in sign iit mumbai subject to their selection process so this way we will connect the winners and the students with larger uh, networking community and larger innovation and incubation community uh, in and around uh, bombay Music lovers in Mumbai were left mesmerized as they danced to the beats of American pop band One Republic. The band set the stage on fire at the Made in India concert at NSCI. The Grammy nominated quintet comprising Ryan Tedder, Brent Cazzle, Eddie Fisher, Drew Brown and Zach Wilkins performed many of their popular songs including Counting Stars, Good Life and Love Runs Out. They also paid tribute to Swedish DJ Avicii.
That's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back tomorrow evening with more updates from the commercial capital. It's over to Terry Studio. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.